Kurt Shoshe. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's the Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste.
Time to die. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid!
Yeah. Captain has the helm. The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not to sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shane. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! Sure, he'll make his way to some old boarding house. Trim the yards off the wind. Likewise, with bunker away. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist. Did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times. Not like the little fella who gets skinned. Ready to play! You and here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Or in the whiskey? Now why do you say that, Master Cormac? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. It should be near says you. I think it's a fine end to a game Away, of cards. Can... Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Soyez alerte. On ne sait pas ce qui peut nous tomber dessus. Jean et la violette. Vous allez patrouiller le côté nord. Arrête, attends-moi Allez, gagnez-vous un peu Qu'est-ce que vous vous emmerdez Oh Ah Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Go to your cabin to arrange the work. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan.
Captain's helm! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our hard times. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in the wounded bear. There's our target, Shay! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel says! Trouble, Captain. Ready, Captain. Fire! Fire. Max got them. Fire! Ah! Uh, 
Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur! Who was assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Chassar was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Come have the help. The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shane. The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shane. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do, do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met... The Colonel. Not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. It's about time we rooked them out. The question. The French are entrenched in our... Sorry. on your shoulder while you march. At my family's in. Yes. You said he was a cruel man and acted like an ugly dog. Yes. I'm glad he's dead. Did I ever tell you that General Braddock once stayed at my family's in? What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. 
I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. It is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Yeah, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. And that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. Hmm. If 
I mess with this, maybe I can break the whole system. as good as dead. I've got a good line on him. He's ready to fire. There is no way he will pass. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. 